We're at historic Lansing Golf Course in Northeast, and today the United States Golf Course Superintendents Association of America came together with the EPA and they signed an agreement. Now, some of the courses have been doing this for years, but now it's an official agreement across the world. No more pesticides, environmentally friendly fertilizer, better storm management, better control of storm water runoff into the Anacostia and the Potomac. And it's a historic agreement today so that these green spaces and golf courses are here, yeah, for golfers, but they're here for everybody to enjoy for generations to come. A young girl was sitting on the 12th green at the Detroit Golf Club, and she was just looking. And I went to her and I said, Azaria, are you good? She looked at me and she said, I have never seen this much green grass in my life. Over 19,000 members of the GCSAA have committed to increasing wildlife habitats as well as natural habitats on the golf courses they manage. The Memorandum of Understanding, signed at Langston Golf Course in Northeast Washington, documents their dedication to share information on environmental issues and best practices to protect and enhance the environment on their properties. Thank you. Many of these environmentally friendly practices are already in play at golf courses in Montgomery County. We've been working on ways for decades really to try to conserve resources. These efforts have been accelerated uh, in recent years with great advances in technology that allowed us to uh, have more analytical data to make decisions, to make more targeted applications of fertilizer or plant protectants, um, to reduce water use and target exactly where it needs. Some of the key practices outlined in the agreement include controlling stormwater runoff, establishing more pollinator sites for bees, preserving public green space, and sustainable pest management. Not only are we um, enhancing this beautiful asset, but we're also making it more sustainable because it's you know right here and runs off um, in, in, into the Anacostia River. And the water coming off should be cleaner than the water on the street, cleaner than the water in any other corner of this fantastic city. There's also a plan to use golf courses as living classrooms for environmental and STEM education. Using golf courses in environmental learning labs uh, where kids get to come out and uh, learn how golf course superintendents are using STEM, science, technology, engineering, math. One of our big topics is water conservation. You know, we kids get to use moisture meters and learn how golf course superintendents are helping conserve water uh, and do our part. And as we can bring others into this and so where they can learn and, and, and gain that understanding of what these golf courses can bring, we're going to change lives and be able to get more people involved in the protection of our environment and hopefully more individuals interested in our great sport. A new commitment by our nation's golf courses to benefit their surrounding communities. All that green grass that you know that we hear about from young people seeing out on our golf courses that it's sustainable, that it's green, completely green, and not just in color. By making sure their environmental practices are up to par. Topper Shut, WSA 9.